need to know, some of you have done this, is half drag. We need to type in PR for procreate. Oops, open that one up. Then click the word photo. Go to moments and select your drawing, which should already be cropped and ready to go. Then click on another layer. So click the plus for a second layer. Click on the circle ring and find a green. Any type of green will be fine. Go to the paintbrushes. If it's, there's all sorts of different paintbrushes, but an easy one is painting, round brush or square brush. I find the round brush easy to use. Then here you can see you can change your brush size. And this is opacity, so you want that one right up. First, I'm going to do a smaller brush, zoom in, and we can very carefully trace around your building. It's actually quite quick. Okay, so I'll just do a real quick one. Go right up to the edge. Then you can put your brush up a bit more and fill it in. If you accidentally go in the wrong spot, click the back arrow. If you do something and you decide you don't like it afterwards and the back arrow is not going to work for you, then you've also got an eraser. You can zoom in and you can erase because you are in layers. It means we can actually erase and bring our buildings back. So that's why we're making it in a second layer. Those of you who want to go to a slightly more advanced level, once you have done your green background, you can then click the plus for a third layer. You could choose some colors, go to the brush, this time we could do airbrushing and you get soft brush is fine. Bring the opacity, like bring it down a little bit. The opacity can be down and you can actually airbrush if you want to bring in any more details. If you are going to color your buildings, but you ran out of time, you can actually do that. If you go to calligraphy, you've got, that's a nice pen. You could bring in the black and I'll just show you here. It, you can actually draw with it, so it's quite nice. So you could bring in your windows, tidy up edges if you want to. Something else that is really cool is under this one here, luminance. You can get the flare. If you add it onto get some white, you can actually add flares onto your windows and they look quite realistic. Just comes up as a little dot. You've also got just small little lights that might be reflect. Oh, that one's very big. Let's go back arrow, bring it down, and see you can draw. I'll just show so it's a little bigger so you can see. So you've got some special effects so you can have it look like little lights are reflecting off of your window. So there are some effects there that are really cool. So feel free to use those if you want to, but that is optional. You do not have to use that. When you're done, click the spanner, share, JPEG and save image. Your whole background should be green. Okay, and that is it. I can show you in photos a final one. Let's just go back to the camera roll. So, a final one done would look like this. Okay, it's got the lens flow, a little bit of airbrushing, and the green background.